we're in Beacon Hill, we're in Boston, okay, and we're just checking out architecture, cool stuff. I want to take you on a tour here. I want to take you down to the Otis Gray House from Charles Bullfinch. I want to show you an Asher Benjamin House, one of my heroes. I want to show you all these architectural features. Cobblestone streets here, there's Victorian, there's Greek Revival, there's federal, incredible federal, like that doorway right there across the street with the blue and the beautiful fan light. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Come join me today on The Bill Show. Beacon Hill, this is the oldest part of Boston. This is the most historic, this is the wealthiest part of Boston. Originally, Beacon Hill was a, there was a beacon on a hill. <laughs> Imagine that, that's why they call it that. There's actually three hills here. There's three hills and they call them the Trimount, okay? Which then turned into Tremont Street, right? So you got three mounts, three things. So there's still a street named after the original three mounts. Where did they go? They went in to fill in the harbor. So they made more land here basically by cutting down these mounts by these big hills. But if you look all the way up there, we're looking at the Boston State House designed by who? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Bueller? Charles Bullfinch. And so one of his protégés, one of his people who admired him, who was a master builder, was a guy named Asher Benjamin. He built this wonderful structure. And then we're going to go look at an Otis Gray house up the street. Remember, Otis Gray was the financer business guy who kind of made it. It's ironic because if you watch my federal video, I go into Asher Benjamin, Charles Bullfinch, and Bullfinch, who was a, you know, a dandy, who was an architect, he actually had lost money a couple times. And Otis Gray Harrison was the, one of the ones who benefited from him. So anyway, go back and watch that Buildings and Brew. It's a great one because it talks about all this. And if you're in Boston, you'll really love it. Now, Asher Benjamin, master builder, built this house. Notice what's happening here. We have this lower level. Look how thin those columns are. Look at the fan lights over the doors. Uh, look at the triple hung windows on that second floor, right? So we have a piano noble that kind of the, the first floor would have been a mud hall and then you go up to the major floor. That's why you have larger windows on that second floor. But then look at the hierarchy that takes place with the windows. You only have, you know, a, a double hung window, then it looks, like looks like a single hung, but actually still a double hung. There's hierarchy in the order and, and this the way that this, this house kind of is, is moves around, same thing you're going to see at the Charles Bullfinch house. So it's a really historic area there's a bunch of great details bunch of fun stuff for us to see so come on this is the Otis Gray house this is the third Otis Gray house he built built the first one on the other side over there by government center and then a second one and then this one this is probably the wealthiest part of Boston looking out over the commons kind of imagine New York Central Park with those with the apartments to look out over the Central Park same kind of thing here you have a bunch of different building going on here that Asher ben Benjamin house was you know early 1800s this was early 1800s but you can see see that mansard roof we know that mansard roof is probably you know uh, Lake Victorian. Uh, look at that real thin, tall building that goes up. So there are different periods of buildings being built here, but this one is really great. It's the Otis Gray House, Charles Bullfinch, who was one of Asher Benjamin's mentors, idols, as far as design and construction. He was an architect. Again, we've got triple hung windows, double hung windows, and then like single hung, clear hierarchy. Look at the architrave over that window, okay? You've got brackets holding up the the architrave you got this exaggerated frieze right and then you've got that beautiful little sculpted cornice going around that kind of kicks in and kicks out notice over the front door they've got a carved panel uh, over that door kind of signaling that hierarchy so rustication on the bottom right then it goes to brick so we've got that same organization going on here where we've got a rusticated base building this strength We've got brick going above there, this clear hierarchy. This is an incredible house, beautiful details, great federal architecture right there across the street. Also, look at that dainty ironwork as well. A lot of really great details there. I mean, there are some of the sexiest 
most wonderful architecture all around me. I'm looking at a blue door across the street, which has this beautiful federal entry with this fan light, leaded glass. I mean, there's so much risk stuff. And by the way, if anybody wants to build a garage like that behind me, I'm your man, okay? There is such great details here. We're really close, and I'm not sure if this isn't it, the, the second Otis Gray House that Charles Bullfinch designed for Otis. The details here are just wonderful. And if you look around these neighborhoods, there's cobblestone streets, there's small, dainty little openings there's carriage houses that have been turned into homes there is i mean this is just wealth kind of money's falling out of the trees here and so just just look at that entry right so look at the look at the columns look at the proportions look at the you know if you want to just copy the past and look at something that's really cool that would be a good one look at the paneling around the inside the fan light Oh, just beautiful, it's awesome. You gotta visit this place, you gotta come check it out because there's really just great architectural elements here and it's beautiful. I mean, the trees and, and I mean, just walking through here in the fall could be magical. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Hull Millwork, Hull Homes. Sign up for the newsletter. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.